Hi everyone, friends of Victrix and all you precision shooting enthusiasts out there. I'm Giuseppe Valtorta. I'm the CEO and founder of Victrix. And today, I'll be talking to you about the Victrix Venus, which is the latest firearm that we've designed here at Victrix specifically for target shooting. And that is more precisely being tailor-made for PRS, which many of you are already familiar with. It's a sporting discipline that arose in the United States, where it has become very popular, but which, over the past few months, has been taking the European market by storm. Here at Victrix we decided to create a rifle designed for this sport, and we went about doing this in the best possible way, by designing a complete range of firearms that have been tailor-made to suit this type of shooting sport. We divided the range into our two lines, plus a third one that I'll be unveiling to you today in this worldwide premiere. As usual, there's a top-of-the-range series known as the V-series, an intermediate option known as the T-series, and our latest addition the new X series. So, for the first time ever, Victrix decided to design an entry-level product that's capable of covering everything from a marksman's very first steps right up to taking part in competitions. The firearm will come with a price tag of 2,040 euros before tax for the European market. In Italy, that's 2,040 euros plus VAT. It has various technical features that you'll already have seen on other models of ours that have been borrowed from the T and V series. The action, for example, is in 17.4 pH and is in fact technically very similar design-wise to the one used in the T version of the professional line. The bolt has six symmetrical lugs. In this case, the coating of both the bolt and action is a top black finish. The magazine is a double feed, double stack magazine that can hold 10 rounds. This grip is interchangeable. It's a standard AR-10, flat top, vertical grip. The chassis is entirely machined in light alloy. In 6082, for those of you interested in the technical specs, this is our buttstock that can be commonly found on our other series, such as the T and V series, with a quick adjustment button, both for cheek piece adjustment as well as horizontal and vertical adjustment of the butt pad. Underneath are some threaded slots that have been placed here to allow future accessories that will be available on our e-commerce website www.rotini.it in the shop section to be mounted, such as the Arca rail, which in this case, unlike the other versions, is not incorporated. Here on the front is an Anschutz rail onto which a Picatinny rail or an Anschutz compatible bipod can be mounted and a muzzle brake with four chambers tailor designed for this type of weapon. The barrel in this case is 24 inches in length. It's a roto hammer forged barrel produced by our friends at Lothar Walther. The firearm will be available in black for the X series in three calibers. 308 Winchester, 6.5 by 47 Lapua, and 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's move on to the T-Series model, which is our intermediate series. And that mirrors, from a technical standpoint, the same features that you've probably already seen on our other professional series rifles. On the Gladio T, for example. So this is the action, that's once again in 17.4 pH, and our trusty bolt, that has six symmetrical lugs. In this case, it has a DLC coating. In this case, the barrel is once again 24 inches in length and made by Lothar Walther, but in this case, it's a button rifled barrel. The muzzle brake has a slightly different design, but it still has four chambers and has been designed specifically for this type of firearm. The buttstock is the same throughout all three series, but where you'll notice substantial differences is the chassis, 
As you can see, the chassis is once again billet machine from a single piece. But even just by looking at the side, you'll notice that it has been milled both for weight reduction as well as M-lock attachment sockets on the front here to allow different types of accessories to be mounted. But it could even allow counterweights to be mounted to balance the weapon, which will soon be available in our eShop. The bottom part basically changes completely. There's a rail that runs along the entire length, an arca rail that can be used, as we're doing here, to attach an arca rail clamp, onto which this bipod has been mounted, and an Anschutz rail that runs the full length, whereas you can see, we've also included these QD attachment sockets to allow accessories that are compatible with this type of system to be mounted. The reason for why we've tried to equip these rifles with every possible mounting system standard is to make it possible to use all sorts of accessories, some of which you may have already purchased in the past and would like to continue using on your new firearm. The T, unlike the X series, has a tilted grip that is interchangeable with any standard AR-10 flat top grip. The stock is available in matte black as well as in orange. Last, but obviously not least, is our top series, the V series, which by now you're all well familiar with construction-wise. So here's our action, which is in 17.4 pH, and in this case was machined via electro-discharge machining. The bolt has three asymmetrical lugs and a PVD coating. The barrel, which is once again 24 inches in length, is a benchmark button rifled barrel in 416R paired once again with a tailor-made muzzle brake that has four chambers. In this case, the chambers are forward canted, unlike the other two series that have straight chambers. The chassis is in fact the same as the one on our T-series model, so they share the same technical features which we covered earlier on whilst looking at the T-series version. The same goes for the Arca rail, the Anschutz rail, the QD attachment sockets, the lateral QD slots, the lateral M-lock sockets, and the buttstock that are all the same as the ones we've already discussed. Where they differ is the grip, which in this case is a vertical grip that is still interchangeable and is once again a standard AR-10 flat top grip and the magazine, which is made of polymer and is a single stack magazine. That covers just about everything there is to know about the Venus. The technical specifications and detailed photos can be found on our website at www.victrixarmaments.com in the sporting section, where you can also find the Venus line and where you can find all the caliber options and other information that you may find intriguing. We've covered just about everything there is to know, so see you in the next video.